Hello, dear friends of Wesley United Methodist Church, the church on the hill. I am Ray Landrum, the streaming director and longtime member here at Wesley. I am normally a behind the scenes kind of guy, but sometimes they do let me out of my box and put me in front of the camera. I am filling in for Pastor Doug this week, and we are all looking forward to seeing him in a pulpit soon. You know, it's been over a year since the beginning of the pandemic, and even before the quarantine orders came down, I was voluntarily staying at home, mostly because of my asthma. I have COPD also, so I am at a high risk, and I'm fortunate to have my first shot, and uh, by the time this, by you see this, I'll have my second shot of the vaccine. I'm also very lucky to have one of those jobs that uh, I have the opportunity to work from home. So <clears throat> it's been a, a, a continued joy to do that and, and to stay employed. So last year, at the beginning of all of this, I was uh, having my quiet time and a thought entered my, my head about this statement, shelter in place or ship. Um, I felt the need to get these thoughts down on paper. So I wrote a poem. Now, mind you, I have never wrote a poem before in my life, and I have no idea why that, this thought came to me. But I still wrote it down, and I think it came out okay. You can be the judge. Looking it over today as I prepare for this devotional, I did update it a little bit and I added a, a verse uh, to kind of reflect this time we spent in this last year as a result of the pandemic. So <clears throat> here's my poem. Let me clear my throat. Here you go. Shelter in place. Ponder the purpose of a ship. Is it only for transport of cargo? What of the passengers and of the crew? Does it not provide a place to lay your head, supplies for your voyage, a safe haven in the storms? My home and my church has been my ship. With my crew I have been, <clears throat> biding my time until safe passage ashore to reunite with loved ones afar, once again in celebration of life renewed. My home and church has been my ship with any with my guardian which leads me taking me through the rough passages leading me beside the still waters restoring my soul keeping the faith to once again reunite with all where we all belong <clears throat> thank you for allowing me to share this with you I know uh, it's been a difficult, difficult year. Um, I'm looking forward to uh, better times. I'm looking forward to the hope. I'm looking forward to the rest of this year. So with that, I do have some announcements. <clears throat> uh, we are studying the way walking in the footstep of Jesus. It's a, a Linton experience by Adam Hamilton. And it uses historical background, architect, archaeological, find, archaeological findings, and stories of faith. Uh, Jeff Miller is running a 10.30 a.m. Sunday school class on Zoom. If you'd like to uh, be part of that, contact the office. Uh, also, uh, you can contact Jeff Miller directly. Uh, we're up to about 20 people in a class. There's always room for more with Zoom, kind of unlimited. So if you'd like to join, just let us know and we'll add you to the list. Uh, the Wesley Preschool is now accepting applications for the 2021 school year. And uh, the classes are available for the year and a half old to pre-kindergarten and are designed to meet the needs of the child during the early stages uh, of their most formidable um, growth. Applications are available at their church website at wesleyum.org preschool. The March and April issue of The Upper Room is now available in the lobby. Please stop by during normal office hours. And uh, that Sunday school book that we're doing, The Way, if you, I believe we still have a few copies. If you'd like to have a copy of that, uh, it's also available uh, at the church office. 
And we continue to live stream our worship service uh, every Sunday at 9 a.m. Also coming up, uh, we're going to have sunrise service at the church, uh, 6 o'clock or 6.30. Look for an announcement about that on Easter Sunday. So anyway, I'd like to close with a prayer. So if you'd bow your heads. Dear God, you remind us over and over in your word that you are always with us. You tell us not to fear, and you draw us close unto your presence. You're the only place we find refuge in the storms that surround us right now, Lord. You're the only place where we can find peace and strength. So we ask for your words of truth and power to strengthen us in our inner being and our life, and inner being and our life and our hearts to you. Thank you for your goodness. Thank you that you know the way we take and you have a plan for us. We look to you today, our Lord and Savior. It is your face we seek. Amen. Have a great day and uh, we'll see you online this Sunday. Bye.